This is a Micron precision gear hobbing machine. It's set up to cut a gear similar to the one uh, you showed me in the print. Here's the armor that's gonna hold the gear. Uh, this is the tooling. I'm gonna load and cut a gear to demonstrate how it's done. It's really fast quick and easy. Here are the gears that I'm gonna have been cutting. These are similar to your gears. Here are the blanks. And this is the gear tester set up to test this gear. So I'm going to load one gear and show you how it's done. This gear takes about a minute and a half to cut. It can be cut in one minute. <coughs> but I don't have a lot of gears to cut, so I just put a, a fine feed on it. Your gear will probably take uh, half a minute or less than a minute, less than a minute to cut. I'm gonna turn off the oil to see the gear while it's turning. Once it's done, I'm going to take it and uh, put it on the tester and check it out. Now here is the shaper, the fellows number three that you're familiar with or you, you, you told me that you know the fellows number three. I'm going to start it for you. The cutter would be on that uh, spindle, that's the cutter spindle and the work would be on the table here. This machine probably not adequate for your gear because it doesn't have enough uh, riser. I'm gonna show you a machine that we have set up to do an internal gear. Here is this machine, also a fellows number three. Uh, it's set up with a shank type cutter to do the uh, internal gear. You can see the cutter. And here is the internal gear that's been cutting. Now I'm gonna take the gear and show you how we test it. We have a tester set up to do this internal gear. Here are multiple testers. This is to do uh, an external gear. Here's a gear that's set up on it. Also very similar to your gear. Actually, this is a diametral pitch 120. Uh, I don't know if you could see the uh, master gear saying that. It's a 120. It's a very tiny gear. It has 18 tooth. It's similar to yours. Here's the, uh, the indicator. This is uh, this indicator is division by one micron. This is a very accurate tester. This gear runs about two tenths total composite error, which is like class 12 and higher. So here is another. This is the internal tester, if you notice. 
This is the master gear for the internal tester. And this is the gear I showed you. We're gonna put it in the pot. I'm trying to put it with one hand and holding the camera in the other. Anyway, that's how it goes. And then you drop the, the master gear on it and you turn it. This actually, we had it motorized. There's a motor that attaches to it and it'll, done, it'll, it'll do the uh, test automatically. Here is another tester that does internal gear. That's a larger tester. This is for larger gear. You can see the concept. Here's an internal gear and a gear that's gonna mesh with it. We have about a hundred gear testers. We specialize. This is another larger, actually larger uh, gear tester that does internal. Here's a pot to mount your internal gear on it. Uh, here's a room with all testers. We refurbish them, some of them we rebuild. This sparks some gear testers for bevel. This is our specialty, so we can help you in setting up the machines and cutting the gears and testing it. We also have our own gear analyzing system, computerized, where you get all the data recorded and documented. I want to show you another job we do on a shaper. Here's a, here's a larger shaper that's set up to do these pump gears. I'm going to run it. And here are the, the gears that we've been cutting on that shaper. Here's a tester for these gears. I don't know if you can see. This is the gear that I cut. It's very simple to take it out. You just move it out. can put it on the tester and show you it's running also within a couple of tenths this is like class 12 and better so that machine will be very adequate for your gears and this is the one I plan to offer you to do the uh, external gears